Hi everyone, it's Oko with Church Stitches. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will share with you guys how to make Ankara travel bag. I know you all will enjoy to see the procedure I took in designing this bag. Let's get straight into it. I'm working with one yard of Ankara and remaining leather from my previous tutorial. I will first of all draft out the side because the side of this bag carries the main property of it. You get how wide or how small you want the bag to be depends on the side you measured out. So I'm actually going with length 10 inches and width 9 inches. Then I folded it and I came down by 1 inches. This open part, I came down by 1 inches so that I'll be able to create that curve structure. I'm going to fold my Ankara just this way and place my pattern or need to cut out for the both side at once. I'm going to measure around the side because is the measurement of the side will not help you to cut out the actual length of the bag you get and I got 35 inches. Then I cut out a length of 35 inches and a width of 20 inches. How wide you want the bag to be, you get, depends on the width. So the width I'm working with is 20 inches and the length, which is the whole length of the side, is 35 inches. So right now, guys, I'm going to be attaching my gum stain to it. Once I'm done, this is how it looks like. But right now, I'm going to drop this body outside and work on the side now. I already cut out my lining and when I'm cutting out my lining, my lining is always bigger than the material we get. And this is my cord. I'm going to use this leather to cover up the cord. You understand? So I first of all join the lining and trim it before working on the cord. So guys, this is how you join your cord when they meet together, you understand? You use the leather to join it up just this way. As you can see, it looks neat. So guys, this is all for the side and we are done with the side. I'll be adding a leather to the zipper part of the bag. I'm going to cut off one and a half inches away from here, you get. And I already cut out two inches width of leather and I'm going to join it together with half inches. So guys this is how it looks like and I also made a match on top of the leather. I'm also going to work with a leather for the hand of the travel bag and also I already cut it out. So the length is 20 inches and the width is two inches right now i'm going to come down by two inches so watch the reason why i came down by two inches this is the part that i won't stitch you get so from the two inches i'm going to start the stitching not from the beginning of the 
leather you get and stop at the other two inches so guys this is how it looks like i'll be passing through a cord so that it can stand firm you get and the cord won't come out the cord will just stop at where i stitched and stopped I work with a gum to gum this open part together. You guys watch how I did this. Once I was done, I'm now going to be placing it to the bag so for me to target a place that would be suitable and nice i'm going to come in by seven inches on both sides so that i'll first of all test if seven inches is nice you get so i came in by seven inches on both sides this is me placing it to know a place that is suitable so when i placed it inside the seven inches it was not looking nice at all so i had to place it outside the seven inches and i came down by one and a half inches to start my stitching you guys this bag is already looking nice and we're not yet done so i got my zip and i'm going to be placing my zip so before that i also got my lining and you know when cutting my lining i my lining is always bigger than the main bag This is how I stitch my zipper, good face of the zipper to the good face of the bag. Then you know lining does not have good face and bad face. Then you place it on top of the zipper and you stitch on them. Once I'm done, you guys, this is how it looks like. I stitched enough of the leather part inside so that it will come out more at the front. I'm going to be reducing this lining, but later on, it frustrated me a little bit, but I solved the problem. Let's keep going. This is how you join the other side to stitch the zipper. You face it just this way, and you stitch on it. Then you get your lining and also stitch on it. You guys, when I opened it up just this way, and I wanted to make a very long stitch, you understand? But the lining was not corresponding equally to the length of the bag. So I had to go on and do what to divide the lining and add small inches. So that's why I'm trying to tell you guys that I actually reduced a lot when reducing it previously. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. As you can see, the lining is now lapping to the fabric. Everything is now equal. So as you can see, when I added a lining to it, it's now equal. So if you're cutting out your lining, make sure your lining is bigger than your fabric. So right now I'm going to be adding my zip head as you can see.
you guys the next stage is for us to find the middle of the side and join it at this situation make sure you remeasure the length of this whole side and remeasure if it corresponds to the this uh, main body you'll be joining it to because if it does not correspond you will actually be frustrated in this bag so i i was working with measurement seriously you measure the side and you keep also measuring the full body so that it will correspond you get so right now i'm going to also find the middle of this part and go on and join my side As you can see, the side came out really nice. As I said, you work with measurements. I'll use my lining to cover up the rough edge so that it will be neat. You guys, this is basically all for this tutorial. I love the outcome of this bag, how everything came out. You get, so I'll be opening the real parts of this bag so that you all will be amazed. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for sticking here and still watching this with me. I really appreciate every each of you. Please guys don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video to people. It will be helpful too. And I can't and I can't wait to see you all in my next tutorial. Thank you and bye bye.